Welcome. Welcome to the 2016 Range Expo, hosted by Nagland and competition sponsored by Telcom. Do gaming, right? So Digital Gaming Masters League. Uh, it's the 19th of March here on the Saturday. They started on yesterday, Friday, and they're going to be breaking through the evening until Sunday morning until everybody's dead. Um, we'll be running around here a bit and seeing if um, anybody would like to speak to us regarding what they have to offer here today. Um, there's a lot of cosplays I see, there's a lot of statues, uh, shops, all that wonderful things. So let's see what's going to go on. Let's go. Right, we've got Vian here from Telcom. He's going to be telling us a little bit more about the bolt speed fiber that they've got on offer and uh, where you can find out more about it. Vian, can you tell us some more? Yeah, so basically fiber optic is a new generation network that uh, Telcom has started. Uh, basically we used Bolt as our ambassador. Um, as you see, as you know, he's really fast and that's how our fiber works. It is a new generation network. It's been laid down in different areas in Cape Town, uh, Joburg, Durban. Uh, what you can actually go, you can go to the Telcom website we can actually put in uh, your exact address to see if you can get coverage for your Telcom Fiber. All the packages are on there as well. Um, or you can just call our call center. The number will be at the bottom of the page and there will be a link as well. So basically, uh, Fiber is very updated. You also get VDSL, which is a combined package of Fiber and Copper. If you cannot receive Fiber, you will maybe get uh, be able to get VDSL. But on the coverage check, you'll be able to see everything. And if you need help, just give us a call. Yes, basically, that's that, eh? Yeah, that's I think, I think that is that, yeah. Yes. So, um, with the fiber, you don't need to have an analog line as well, it's just the fiber? Yes, yeah, so basically, the fiber, you don't need a voice line anymore. If you have a voice line, you will pay, be paying 99 Rand for your voice line. That will give you free Telcom to Telcom calls as well as free Telcom to Telcom mobile calls. But you don't need that. So basically, we give you just the internet line. As in the older days, you didn't need a telephone line for your internet. Now you basically only need the, it for internet. Yeah. Okay. So you don't need your voice anymore. Um, and basically, you don't need to charge you for the voice. We just charge you for the internet. So basically, we have a standard package that starts at a 10 meg package. We have a 20 meg, uh, we have a 40 and a 100. Uh, a few weeks ago, we actually launched our uncapped packages, which is quite amazing. You can just have a look on the website for that as well. Okay. So, um, I have understand there's also nightcap available for the heavy users, so you can just schedule downloads over the evening and you'll get much more value out of your bundle. Yes, so basically what happens is on certain packages you get night server data. The night server data you use between the times of 12 and 7. So you can actually set your download for download between 12 and 7, which you don't use your normal data for that. So yes. Cool, cool. thank you very much. We're going to be um, walking a little on but yeah, the area still. And um, thanks a bunch. It's a pleasure, man. I hope you guys have a nice day. Thanks. Okay. Bye bye. Eh? All the best. Bye bye. Right, we've tracked down the elusive Arkham Knight. Um, there's also a couple of questions as to before it disappears again into the darkness. Um, what do you think about Batman? I hate him. Why do you hate him? What did he do against you? He made the Joker kill me. Um, are you sure about that? I'm sure about that. Okay, if you were to find him in the streets of Gotham, what are you going to do against him? I'll break his neck. Okay, that sounds quite painful. Um, Recently, there was a new release of Batman, Arkham Knight, on PC, PlayStation 4, Xbox, and so forth. What do you think about the game? It was an excellent game. Excellent. And did you experience any of the bugs that the, play, that the PC version had? For which platform did you play it on? I played on PS4. PS4. And what do you think about the PS4 in general so far? It's an excellent platform. You like it so far? Um, are you also online on the PS4 or just on single player? Single player only. Single player and you had no problems with it, it's nice, stable or no issues? No issues at all. Okay, well thanks a bunch. Um, hopefully you'll be able to settle your differences with the bat. Um, I'll leave you to your devices then. Thanks, hey. I do, enjoy. Thanks. Okay. Right, we're going to look for some more guys to find out what they have to say in the expo. Let's go.
Right. Um, the next guys we found on the expo is Sub Zero and Lulu from League of Legends. Um, tell me, how do you find the day so far? Sure. Nice and busy. We're here on day one, so definitely it's picked up really well. Um, it's really busy. It's really awesome to yeah. see Cape Town come out because we are from Johannesburg So we know what the Johannesburg rage is like compared to this one and we hope it's gonna happen again Yeah, you know this one will definitely grow to be like that. Okay. Uh, if you didn't perhaps um, spot Scorpion around here, your best friend in life <laughs> He's gone. He's gone. I'm tired. <laughs> Did you finish him? Yes And um, on your side, how's the lag spike here from Joburg compared to Cape Town? It's doing very well. You guys have great Wi-Fi. Okay. Um, what's your favorite um, tactic and item to use in League of Legends? <laughs> okay, I don't want to take your secrets away. What's your recomm recommendation? My recommendation? Yeah. Well, it depends on which lane I'm on. Okay. But I'll whimsy anyone in the way. You come against a tank. Uh, it depends on who I'm going against, but I hope I have a good support team. I am a support person myself, so yeah. I need more support, so that's what I Yeah. Who needs, <laughs> who needs friends when you've got enemies like that, eh? Yeah. Okay, so um, what's your favorite fatality? Well, as you said, for those you'll know, four, the original 4 down 4 high punch. Yeah. yeah, it's a great fatality. That's a bit censored. Um, what do you think about the Raiders release, uh, Mortal Kombat 10? Loving it. This is actually the Sub Zero Farm Mortal Kombat 10. I'm a huge fan through and through. So, yeah, it's great. Um, which, which of three styles do you prefer? Ice Master or which one? I like Grand Master itself, yeah. but Sub Zero in any form is great for me too. So, it's good. Yeah, I usually just play with Jax. Um, it's been a while since practice because there was a little bit of lag on my system, but I've got a new system now, nice. and hopefully I'll be playing with Jax a whole bunch of other guys. Sub Zero was my favorite in MK3 as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Many that many favorites. That Sub Zero was awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, thanks a bunch, you guys. Pleasure. Um, good luck with your tournament. Good luck <laughs> with your laning. Cool. I do, and enjoy the rest of the day. Will do. You too. I do. Thank you. Cool. Thanks. Okay, let's see what else we got here on the expo. Let's go. Right, we're here with the animation school. Um, these guys offer 2D courses um, year long regarding animation and all sort of animation techniques. Let's ask them a couple of questions. So, what's your primary courses that you have on offer? Well, basically, it's a 3D, it's a 3D course, but we also do it's digital animation basically. So, it's a three-year course, a diploma course, and it's internationally recognized. Internationally recognized? Yes. And we are actually 31st in the world and we're the top animation school or college in South Africa. Okay, okay. Yeah. Um, when people want to start with animation, you've got any tips of them, any any um, advice you can give besides besides enrolling in an official course like this? Definitely have some a bit of artistic background. If not, one of our top students can't draw, but he's technically good. So I don't know, it's, it's just a knack for, for creating stuff, a passion for um, just animating, a passion for drawing, yeah, you name it. Yeah, I mean, for example, you can get an artist and you can do the animation for the artist as well. There's always a place for animation school because there's so much different things you can do, like rigging and lighting. I mean, there's, there's, it's open to anyone. So no matter who you are, you'll always find a place somewhere in the animation industry. Okay. So besides animation, will guys be offering courses regarding like composition, lighting, um, um, post-production, that kind of thing? We cover, we cover everything really. Anything from, from the drawing aspect to the, actually tech, the technical side of the asshole, the things that happen in animation. Okay. Yeah. Michael, thanks a lot a bunch. We'll be putting your link in the video. You guys can click here on the below right here for you have some course off by them. And um, thank you very much guys. It's a pleasure, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Enjoy the weekend. Okay. I think we've got more people to interview, let's go!
Right, we've got here Westwood Studios, not the one purchased by EA Games, the other one. Um, they've been developing a new game, and what's your guy? What's your guys? What's the game called? ANC Apocalypse. ANC Apocalypse. Okay, yeah. and what's it about? Oh, well, ANC Apocalypse uh, is about uh, adding education and politics, merging it into gaming. Uh, fun while learning. It has never been done, so we're trying to revolutionize the concept of gaming. And uh, so this, there's this chief uh, zombie called uh, Zoma, yeah. and basically he's controlling all the other zombies. And uh, so he, yeah. he held the people in captivity. So what you do is that you're the protagonist in the game, and you yeah. have to save those people and save our country. So we're trying to bring to your consciousness that we just we don't we don't need it in the game. We also need that in life, and that's what's happening in our country right now. Okay, so. Um Totally unrelated to current events. Professional, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, on which platforms will you guys be releasing? And, and with Android, 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 Android. Uh, we're looking to go to RES in a few months and PC as well. Yeah. Okay, so first Android, then exactly. yeah, the yeah, exactly. yeah, exactly. yeah, exactly. It has the most users, Android has the most users. So yeah, uh, biggest user it'll be exactly it'll be wise yeah. to go through the iOS then PC. Then, yeah, go to other places. Okay, very nice. And um, I, since it's on mobile, um, will it be a top-down or what kind of um, will it be platformer? Yeah. First-person shooter. It's an open-world game. Right? First-person shooter on a mobile. Yeah. You can move around in the world. Well, we've also done yeah. it very different from other ones. We don't have a, a set um, analog. Yeah. The analog can be anywhere on the screen. It's very easy to move. Yeah. Very yeah. fun to play. We're also incorporating people from Rage's voices to actually go yeah. in the game. Yeah. Just yeah. To, yeah. and they say funny things just to make it this also <laughs> yeah. from Rage. From Rage. Yeah. 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 Okay, so you're actually capturing audio from the Rage Expo. Oh, yeah. okay. and, that's why, and that's why the game, the game is launching today at 5 p.m. So yeah. basically throughout the day yesterday as well, we're just recording the voices. It's going to be awesome. Yeah. So this, this game is for, for the people, every day about the people. Yeah. Nice, nice. Will people still be able to add their voice to it today or is it yes, today? Yeah, today. Tomorrow we do yeah. updates tomorrow. We're yeah. also gonna yeah. tomorrow do a thing where we can do you can get gun packages, yeah. um, covers for your guns and stuff yeah. to just yeah. make it even better yeah, and more in, unique. In different types of weapons, so it's in in-game purchasing kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, that sounds quite nice. I'll be visiting guys again to to, to drop on my voice as well. It will be an exceptional voice. I'm pretty sure you guys will be quite happy with it. <laughs> so thank you very much guys. Um, we'll all you guys you'll, you'll be able to see um, the, the um, details below in the link as well. Um, I'll be putting some more information there. And thanks a bunch. Enjoy the weekend. Oh, oh you too. You too. You too. Yeah, thanks a bunch. And see you. Next part. Next year. Next part of the expo. Let's go. We are inside the Nag Rage Lanyon in Cape Town with our main organizer, who is by the goes by the name of Erich. Erich. Okay, Erich, um, you've been doing this thing for quite a while. I mean, 10 years plus, right? Yeah, we've been 13, 14 years. We've been doing Rage, not Cape Town, obviously, but Rage in essence, yes. Yeah, in, in general, yeah. And um, well, this is the first time to Cape Town. I'm pretty sure you guys are very excited to be here for the first time. Yeah, Cape Town is awesome. We've uh, it's been a while that we've been planning. We've always wanted to come down to, to Cape Town. There's a lot of reasons why it never happened. And this year it worked out. So yes, we're quite happy to be down here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure because the guys here at Cape Town also, they've always been wanting Rage to come down because it's always a bit of a trip to go to Joburg. And um, now we have it. I'm pretty sure the guys here are enjoying themselves immensely. Um, can you tell us about, let's talk about numbers. How many people we have got here today? All right, so it's slightly smaller. Well, maybe a bit more than slightly smaller than Joburg so we have 408 gamers here uh, mostly restricted by the venue size that we got and it's also a test run to see can we get everything sorted a lot of logistics that's happening getting the equipment down so yeah 408 gamers okay. and um, well it seems to me we're quite a success I mean everybody's having fun here and it seems like also got access to internet, which is also quite a rarity to have events such as, a la as large as such as this. Um, how's Telcom been supporting guys with the breakout to the internet? Well, in this case, Telcom is only supporting the, the expo side or whatever, so they're taking care of internet connectivity on that side. Over here, this is IS, so IS is doing internet solutions, they're giving us the bandwidth. 
Um, from a technical perspective, what might be interesting is the casino used to be on a 1 gig fiber link for the casino. Yeah. Uh, they upgraded it to a 10 gig and uh, so we're running off the 10 gig portion on the LAN here and we've got more bandwidth than we really require. So we, we're running at a fairly decent speed. That's quite nice. I mean, I've been talking to telecom guys as well and fiber has been rolling out across, across to, uh, various areas. And um, I'm pretty sure that most of these guys here, it's the first time they've been experiencing 10 gigabit connections, well, so I'm pretty sure they've been enjoying themselves immensely. Well, if, if you want to compare, to have something comparable to see what the, what the speed does, is when you do a speed test uh, on speedtest.net, you will get something like 160 meg download speed uh, per user, so any user can get that. And then the other difference on the fiber, ADSL technology, um, there's a difference in upload and download speed. Here, both ways, same type of traffic. So if you want to upload your photos to Facebook, it goes quick. And I mean really quick. Yeah, okay, so it's an asynchronous connection with up and down the same speeds. Up and down the same speeds. And we built in a couple of tricks that seem to do the work. And um, the one problem that we did have down here is the PCs that the guys are bringing can't keep up with the amount of data that we're sending it. Yeah. So the hard drives are maxing out and the PC has to wait for the hard drive to catch up so that we can give them the data that they're requesting. Right, so, so basically the IOs of the disk cannot even keep up with the connectivity you guys are providing for them. Yes, the IO is running, at, well the disk is running at 100% utilization, Q length is maxed out. So yeah, we, we, that's on the some of the slower machines. So you got a SSD, then you should be up and running. And if you guys yourself been enjoying so far the event and uh, the area and the, basically the, the reception of Cape Town so far? Well, yeah, it, it has been fun. There's definitely a difference in uh, culture down here. So um, the guys wake up a lot later. <laughs> so they don't queue two days before the event starts. That yeah. makes a little bit of a difference. And one thing that I did find interesting, which was awesome from my point of view, is a monster sponsored free monster drinks for the event. Yeah. Uh, put down one on each table and the venue fold up and the open seats still had their monsters in place that were meant for the guys coming and that didn't go missing. So from that perspective, awesome. Guys were understanding when we checked in and we explained the rules and how things work. So yeah, Cape Town has been awesome. Okay, that's nice. Yeah, the funny thing about the yeah, people not sleeping in, it's definitely slop start, so <laughs> they'll be coming when they're ready and they'll be showing up. Yeah. But thank you very much. Um, enjoy the rest of the weekend. I mean, there's still one more day left, right? Yes, yeah, we're closing on Sunday at 3 o'clock. Mm. Okay, well, that's been that. Thank you very much for, for, for the time you've given us as well. And um, yeah, I think that wraps it up. We could be going to the Expo and see what they've got on offer. Let's go. Well, that's that. It's been the 2016 Rage Expo at Cape Town, um, going across the 18th, 19th, and 20th of March. Um, I hope you guys have been having fun watching this video as I've been making it. And um, yeah, enjoy the rest of the weekend. Goeiedag and tot ziens.